What I've got here is the uh, the Badger 200H single action uh, suction feed airbrush. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the uh, what you get with this airbrush set, and then we'll discuss uh, just stripping it down and basically just the internal workings of it. So the card you get in the in the set uh, actually explains the 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 components of the airbrush, um, how to use it, sort of basic maintenance details, and uh, it's just a sort of a, um, a helpful guide to anybody that's uh, not familiar with the airbrush. Um, just a nice, uh, nice addition to the to, to the set, just to explain uh, what, how everything works. Okay, so obviously we've got the uh, got the airbrush in the set. We'll go through that in detail in a, in a, in a second. Uh, we've got two jars. This is obviously uh, this is to uh, attach to the bottom of the airbrush. You've got a spare jar here just in case you want to fill that with some more paint, uh, ready to swap it over. And. We also get the uh, we get the air hose. Um, obviously, badger thread this end, and uh, this end here is obviously for your compressor. So that's a, that's a that's a nice braided hose. That is good quality hose. So we'll just go through we'll go through the airbrush itself um, and how it works, and um, strip it down and put it back together again. Okay, so here we have the uh, Badger 200. It's the uh, single action airbrush, suction feed, as you can see. Um, I'll just take you through the operational um, points of the airbrush and then we'll strip it down. So first of all, you can see they've got a rubber cap at the front there. This is uh, this is pretty standard now as, um, with airbrushes from Badger. It just protects the end of the head when it's in the workshop not being used. So basically you can take that straight off. See, so you've got a crown cap at the front, which leaves the needle still exposed quite a lot, but it will protect it from getting bent or knocked. Um, back here we've got adjustment for the uh, for the spray so screwing this in and out actually pulls the needle um, out of the nozzle which will give you a heavier paint flow so you adjust your paint flow by just screwing this in and out couldn't be any simpler um, if you do it right up until it's you just feel it stopping don't go too far um, you'll obviously shut off all the paint there so you just back it off and you just keep backing off until you get the required amount. Depends obviously on uh, what sort of paint you're using, if you're using thick or thin paint or, or exactly what um, what you want to achieve with the spray but uh, couldn't be any simpler to be honest. Um, and then it's obviously once you've set that up, press the button and that's it, paint and air at the same time. You don't have to pull anything back, this isn't a double action, this is a single action and obviously your paint's drawn up through the bottom there so this is actually you can get this in a, a fine or medium head. This has got the fine, um, so it's it, it's a it's a step up from your from your basic your, your very basic uh, single action airbrushes, and it's it, it's really good for a, a variety of applications, model making, um, ceramics, all sorts of stuff. It'll take also take uh, solvent paints, so you can you can use it on cars or whatever. So what we'll do now is we'll just uh, we'll just strip it down and um, put it back together again. Okay, first things first. Um, you might find these are a little bit tight to come straight from the factory, so uh, just get a pair of pliers, but Put something soft on the jaws, like a bit of, bit of leather or something, that'll just uh, help you to just unscrew these initially and then after that everything's uh, really free. So so I've just undone the chuck nut here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull out the needle. There we go. You don't actually have to take the back of this off, I'm just um, I'm just showing you the components really. Now that's an extremely fine thread, so you can get a really good adjustment on your on your paint flow. To be honest, there's no need and reason for me to take the handle off, but I will do. I'll just show you what's uh, what's in there. As you can see, it's a very very simple tool. Out on the front, we've got the. Uh, Novel cap. Now the 200 has got a cone nozzle. Quite familiar on airbrushes now. Um, 
no threads to strip. There's your retainer there, straight off. And there you go, that's your that's your cone shaped nozzle. Good for all sorts of uh, applications. And basically that is it. Actually you could take the uh, take the trigger out. And there you go, that's it. Now that's as far as you need to go. I don't in fact I don't even know, think you need to go that far, but I've just I've just shown you what's there. So that's it. So what I'll do is we'll put it back together again now and uh, and just set it up. Right, okay, I'm just going to start from the front. Um, so first of all, we're just going to drop the nozzle in. I'd recommend putting just a, a little bit of uh, lube on the on the nozzle just to keep it in place while you're putting everything back together. Now, there's the retainer on. Everything's hand tight on this, as is the case with most Badger airbrushes. You don't need any tools. And that's the front finished. Now I'm just going to drop the trigger in now. Now make sure you get the needle slot lined up. Put it in sideways, your, uh, your needle's going to bump against the side of the trigger. Okay, so that's one way to look at it is just to make sure, there we go, that's lined up correctly there. Stick the handle back on. There we go. Put this, uh, assembly into the body. Probably just do it up, do it halfway. And just make sure you've got the chuck nut backed off enough so that it would actually let the needle through. I've put a little bit of lube on the needle, it just helps it go through the uh, PTFE uh, needle bearing towards the front of the airbrush. And just feed it in. Now you'll feel you'll feel it just come to a bit of a sort of a stop, and that's entering the needle bearing. So just give it a little bit of a push, and just back it off, and just there you go. Now when you just nip that up, just hold that, and that's got it now. That's all ready to go now basically so you, all you need to do now is adjust it to uh, what sort of spray pattern or how much paint you want to go through so there you go it was, just, it was as simple as that okay as I said you get a jar in the set uh, and that simply just fits into the uh, bottom of the airbrush like so it's got a plastic uh, plastic tube on it so it won't scratch the airbrush and that's it. It's all ready to go. It'll use uh, solvent paints, water-based. It's good for cars. Um, it'll do with this head-on. It'll actually do very fine line to uh, to two inches. So it's good for um, inks, dyes, watercolors, um, reduced acrylics, fabric paints, model paints, automotive lacquers, enamels, uh, anything you want to throw at it really. And um, it's just a very reliable simple brush for somebody that doesn't want to go into the ins and outs of a double action or be bothered to learn how to use a double action brush it's just a, it's a no-brainer really it's it, it's just great for and it, I, I can see this lasting lasting a lifetime there's absolutely zero to go wrong with it so that's the Badger 200